Today we're going to be farming fire in Minecraft Sky Factory. But that isn't all. We're also going to be automating and creating a fire factory. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to put out the fire. But since the last episode, boys, look at this. <laughs> so we've built a nuclear power plant. Yeah, just ignore this a second. Ah! But this is the new nuclear power plant. We've upgraded this system a lot comparing to the last episode. We just added a whole bunch of speed modifiers and uh, we put it into a new little design, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the first step we're going to need to do in order to start farming fire as soon as we can is we're going to need to go over to our base and start crafting some things. This is the chest of glories. This here is what we need to start off with. So the first things we're going to need are a block of charcoal and two stacks of redstone. We're going to place the block of charcoal and watch this. If I smash this charcoal, it becomes soot-covered redstone. Look at that. So we're going to need to do this with a whopping two stacks of redstone. I've already done that to save us pain. <laughs> so once we've got the two stacks of the soot-covered redstone, we're going to need to come over here with a bucket and some cobblestone. There we go. So then we're going to need to put the four cobblestone into the torched cauldron and it's going to become lava and put the water into the lava and make ourselves a lot of obsidian. So we've already done that. We've got 64 obsidian. But all we're going to need are these soot covered redstone and we're going to need some of our obsidian. There we go. We can start creating what these things are called soot covered plates. There we go. Next up, once we've got these soot-covered plates, we're going to need to craft this. The soot-covered machine casings are very simple. Uh, we're just going to need, I think, five of these. That's going to be fine. Then we can create our simulation chamber. This is going to need power, but with our new power plant, we can actually power it. And that's right, we're getting into the deep mob learning. The next thing we're going to need is a deep learner. One of these things. It's going to need a glass paint. I think we have that. And there we go. We have a deep learner learner. This is what we're going to need this deep learner. We just fabricate some gold. There we go. All we need then is a loot fabricator. So we're only going to need one of these for now. It's going to be simple. Next thing we're going to need is one of these. So these data models here, right here, we're only going to need one for now, but we're going to need a lot in the future. And then we're also going to need a lot of polymer clay. There we go. Boom. We're going to need, I th we're going to need to automate this system like in a future episode or in between episodes that'll be fine right now all we need is polymer clay this blank data model a loot fabricator simulation chamber and a deep learner so that's pretty much all of it i think everything we're gonna need but let's go over to our power plant and right next to our power plant we have another platform to do exactly this system so we're gonna put down the simulation chamber and the loot fabricator as you can say it says please insert a data model to begin the simulation and over here we don't have anything yet we're gonna fix that in a second we're gonna need two of these bad boys we're gonna need to mark this and this and put this in the power plant. Boom and boom. There we go. It's being powered up. This thing needs a whopping 2 million RF. So that's going to really, really hurt our power source. And this one needs 1 million. So that's th that's 3 million RF. And now we're going to need to type in down here at deep there we go. And this is what we're going to need. This is the start of everything. The blaze data model. We need blaze powder with this. So let me just turn this on. There we go. And there we go. We now have a blaze data model. And now we've got to take this deep learner right here. And guys, watch this. We're going to take this deep learner. We're going to put this blaze data model inside of this deep learner. Now, as you can see on the bottom right down there, it has faulty model with six more blazes to go. This means we're actually going to have to kill as many blazes as we can in order to upgrade this to a better tier to get better chances of getting better loot. Oh, I did come prepared with a few guns. Yeah, we're going to need some weaponry for this. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's teleport to the nether. Oh, please don't kill me right off the bat. One to go. Okay. One to go before it's upgraded to the next model. We've got advanced tier out of all of the ammo we currently have, so that's not bad. We've almost got no ammo, though. God damn. We also got some wither dust. I don't actually know what that does, but I mean, it's cool. Okay, so now that we've done that, 
let's grab our blaze data model we have ring buckets and watch in despair as it evaporates and everything is on fire you are on okay model tier advanced blazes defeated 20 defeat 28 more for superior level okay so we're gonna do that in between episodes but right now let's show you guys i'm gonna show you guys what this can do and we're literally gonna be farming fire in this episode so hopefully this has a good percentage of dropping what we need if i put this up here uh, in this in this slot up here there we go launching runtime iteration one started loading model from chip memory accessing the threat level this is what we need here pristine procur procurement failed okay damn it pristine chance is 11 percent though it's way better than five if we had it on basic tier engaged enemy succeeded so see that it says it succeeded then there we go we have steen blaze matter this stuff this is what we're looking for we are literally farming blazes inside of a simulation chamber and that's not all if we put this inside this loot fabricator look at what it can create we need laser rod. all of our wireless systems everything involves massive amounts of blaze rods one of these pristine blaze matters we ate two blaze rods there we go we now have 10 blaze rods which is amazing so there's a one in ten chance this creates there it is look it succeeded one in ten chance that this creates a pristine blaze matter and there we go if we put this in here it automatically crafts a blaze rod okay so we now have 12 blaze rods so that is really epic but you guys don't you guys probably don't know what we need them for right now right well you see these ender chests here that are teleporting all of our loot to different stations such as this one which we're going to need to change soon to create matter those all need those types of ender chests and look at this if i type in ender chest down here and go to that specific chest look at this each chest needs four blaze rods it is easier to get obsidian in this than it is to get blaze rods so basically this whole thing is just farming fire for us okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications this means a lot to me make sure to comment down below what you guys would like to see us do next in the snow factory series possibly turn the island into something i'm actually having i do have some plans to turn the island into something really cool so if you guys want to see that make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody